all done. You're welcome. Wait, what do you mean? What did we miss? You came in and you didn't even talk to him. And it seems like... Like, you just did something that he would have told you to do. I think what I was supposed to do, I think I was supposed to talk to him first. Uh, first, get the gun and put the clothes away. Yeah. that's what he was supposed to tell me. <laughs> but we did that before talking to him. <laughs> Which also means that we missed some dialogue, damn it. Probably. It's probably just him telling us to do the shit. And that's it. <laughs> well, yeah, but ev every interaction between these two was valuable, I think. Sort of. <laughs> Sorry, I just went my RPG self and went around investigating everything before talking to people. <laughs> All done. You're welcome. Great. Thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I cook, and I clean, and I'm a beast on the eyes. Oh, uh, oh, oh no. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day, like a slob. Knock it off. You're not going to be in the news, Andy. Oh my god, that face! Yeah, he said he said no more Andy, girl. <laughs> I should have known. Oh, what are you going to do about it, Andy? Girl, you do realize he has no problems with killing you. He almost did. This relationship is just so cyclically toxic, I love it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Gonna choke me out again, are you? Are you? She into that? I wouldn't- I wouldn't be surprised. And also, isn't it kind of a dangerous thing we, to, to be in, into? If you don't know what you're doing, yeah. Or if you're not used to it, it, it can be hazardous. Because you're, well, like, you're quite literally choking someone out. Yeah. You're depriving the brain of oxygen. Do you want me to? Oh, come on. I'm kidding. It's all in good fun. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Again, way too caught up in what I've seen lately. Oh my god, Hatchet. <laughs> I thought we were fine. We are. I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname. Get over yourself. The one thing I ask of you. And it's symbolic, dumbass. You and your romanticism. Shove it up your ass. Oh. Is he into that? Maybe. It, uh, Andrew's into pegging and Ashley is into choking. Good to know. I don't know We're what I was expecting. Very, huh? We're creating very strange head cannons about King's here. What's wrong with that? Nothing in particular, it's just me noting the fact. <laughs> I like how we just talk about King's and I immediately get a spam email called Herpes Eliminator. Hmm. <laughs> Dang. Also, I was going to say, so I'll, I'll take it things are still not good on Twitch's end for stopping the fucking spammers. 
A box? Yeah, uh, I wanted to tell you earlier, uh... I was at, uh, 597 earlier? Ran the bot thing, and now I'm back at 405. <sighs> and even then, like, I've got a sneaking suspicion that a hand, decent handful of the new subscribers are still just bots. Yeah. Doesn't the thing only sweep for, like, known bots? Yeah. <sighs> what fun. Yeah. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I'm being... S I'm being so good to you. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm get because I'm getting the apps and the brush in here. So, in all the time I've been watching, like, F.U. Karen and, uh, um, insane parents videos from the click, and all my time watching those videos, there's one single piece of advice that I've picked up on. If someone says, that they are being good. They're most likely not being good. People who are actually genuinely being good or genuinely trying to be kind don't feel the need to say it. At the very least, the vast majority of the time. Oh yeah, there's actually one thing people say that, uh, that I shouldn't do because it's too... It's way too nice. But, okay. You've heard me get mad before, right? Vaguely. Yeah. I mean, I know your gamer rage. I don't know, like, actual major rage. Yeah, where I get yeah. mad. Yeah, if I ever get mad at a person, literally, like, an hour or two later, I feel b bad about getting mad. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah. It's a not too uncommon thing, as far as I know. No, <sighs> but anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You think I'm so awful, huh? Huh? You want to see what it's like when I actually misbehave? Is it Twitch appropriate? <laughs> Thought, thought, <laughs> reel it in. This is this is not your horny ass Twitter feed. This is the actual technically horror game, meant to be horror. Oh god, it's gotten worse. <laughs> my head is retracting into my body. <laughs> Reject humanity, become turtle. <laughs> I can't be, or I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Seriously, like half the time their interactions just read similar to, like, above average fucking porn scripts. I like your face right now. <laughs> like, I, I love it. I love these characters. Mm. I'm having a good time. But at the same time, that the writing just makes me think of that outside of what I've seen on Twitter. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Go for it. Now you're gonna find me a lot less accommodating than Andy. Oh. <laughs> And now, to some less important news. One... Oh. Here we go. Uh -oh. One of the quarantine departments has had a bit of a situation. Nothing major. Just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody, uh, everybody died. 
Yes, everybody. Our representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? My dearest condolences to the fans of the deceased. This apartment was most definitely not a holy mismanaged mess. Better burned uh, to the ground. Wait, why is a water company representative talking about this? Instead of the building hey. manager. We're <laughs> Responsibility. <laughs> Therefore, it is so sad that this happened. To ease that sadness, we recommend you try. We recommend you try our Toxic Soda, and we rolled out three new and exciting flavors. Excuse me, sir. Something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. <laughs> I am sure you mean to say to drink our tasty bubbly pop pop poply, which happens to be our sponsor. Oh my god. So there's a rival soda business. Ah, uh, capitalism. And it doesn't even make your organs <laughs> bleed out of your ass, unlike some alternatives. Anyway, that was all for now. Tune in again later for some wholesome news to cheer up your day. That was our apartment, wasn't it? <laughs> Sanji says that I want to lose my organs. Oh, Sanji. But anyway, I, I think it's pretty safe to say that this is very, like, if it wasn't obvious enough already, this is very clearly depicting a over-the-top, late-stage capitalist hellhole. Yeah. Also, 62... So as, oh, sorry. So, in other words, everyone, we need to get out of capitalism fast or we're going to have uh, abusive, incestuous relationships prop up more frequently. Yeah. Also, um, 682 would actually enjoy that soda because there was an anomalous test where this food would, uh, I forgot what this anomaly was called, but basically when you eat it, It'll fill up your entire insides and consume it. Yeah, 682 kept asking for more. <laughs> yeah, he likes that anomaly, so I'm pretty sure he would like the soda. <laughs> he gets off on his organs being eaten. Yeah. Kinky. Anyway. Was being the correct tense indeed. Did I like the oven on? <laughs> <laughs> it said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? <laughs> um. They must think we died too. And all the evidence of our escapades, let's say, have been incinerated. Uh, I wonder about that. <laughs> I told you, it'll all work out. Uh, it still leaves us homeless and just about penniless. Whatever. Things are clearly going to sort themselves out. Uh, I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. Uh. I'm gonna stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late night news has more information on the fire. To yourself. 
I'm assuming this is my bed. Yep. As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. It's just like Ashley to hog all the plumes. Um. This is me. Someone has entered the room. Uh, oh yeah, that medallion thing that gives us premonitions. Yeah. Listen here. You, against your better judgment, you think Andrew is all that, so you're not leaving without him. Back. Wake up. We've got to go. I'll take it you read that and I just got cut off by Discord. Probably. Oh, wait. VPN's still on. God damn it, Hatchet. VPN is now off. Get up! I had a vision. We're about to get killed. We've got to go now. We still a car. No. So... Want to stay here and see if the killer actually shows up? And what did I do to this? <laughs> what did I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep for, for anyway? Might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. And so you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Andrew's gonna get an achievement called Lung Cancer. Lung Cancer! <laughs> Another one? Way to blow money. Blow it out of your ass. I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because that crap messes with your blood circulation. Okay, mom. Makes you impotent, too, by the way. And sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon, anyway. <sighs> What's stopping you? Uh, I said enough. Quiet, you. I thought we were had. <laughs> Cold just is like. <laughs> oh, I am the cultist, and I'm questioning my life. <laughs> Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy who you were expecting to come slit your throat. Though, he sure looked familiar anyway. Didn't we... Oh, wait. <laughs> Didn't we eat that guy? D don't say that out loud. <laughs> oh, sorry. Didn't we chop that guy up and store him in our freezer? <laughs> Ashley, come on. Seriously, though, I guess there's more from where he came. Guess there's more from where he came from.
Where do you suppose he was off to? Why a sex and drugs party with demons, duh. Why are you asking me? Whatever, that should sounds... we follow him? Sorry. That sounds entertaining at the very least. Yep, sex LSD and drugs and party. Sex. Yeah, sex and drugs party with demons. But I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. It's not like we both had to be here. You really don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night. But you're also curious about what the cultists look alike is up to. Uh, fine, you go. But come back soon. You are Andrew. I guess I'm probably going to have a bit of a break from voice lines. <laughs> Wait, hold the door! I, I guess this cult this is going to be Master Chief voice. Yeah. Slayer. Lost the lead. Betrayal. Wait, hold the door, please! Run, sucker! Run! The elevator leaves before the third cultist can board. <laughs> First you, brat! You. Two, unemployment office, one blank, one club, six FU. It's asking for there, a passcode. There was a trash can that you didn't investigate. Mixed waste. That was useful. Recycling point that seems to double as a smoking area. Staff only, it says, and it's locked. Oh, oh I see the code sake. up there. The, yeah, the code is 666, of course it is. The elevator that's arrives. That's some stupid bullshit. <laughs> of course. I don't know why I even entertain the idea of it being anything else. Uh oh. Uh, what? Who let you in? Guy. Sorry. Uh, sorry, was I not supposed to be here? <laughs> Is this a sex and demons party? <laughs> This is a pro- oh wait, no, this- that's- that was my laughing voice. Lair. This is a private event. You. You. Bahina says, sorry I got lost, or this is the sex and demons party. I wanna go for the bottom one. Do the- wait, did- did you save at all? Uh, I can't save. Dingus. Well, say, is this the Sex and Demons party and hope it doesn't kill you? Isn't this the Demon Zags party? What? What? I hope not. My wife would kill me. Ah. What the? Oh, wait. It's layered. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do! <laughs> I do have a wife! No, there's no demon sex party. Betrayal. Oh well, just regular demon summoning then. 
I mean, that's what I was told, but, uh... Listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. Wait, that's the wrong voice, but whatever. Right, sorry, I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't like that. It's layer. You don't know. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go. <laughs> but you can go kick rocks. Layer. Alright, I'll go. No harm done. I can't believe this. They literally invite anyone these days, huh? Layer. Oh, that just means Six Eyes is getting popular. We should be glad. So I'm guessing our neighbor was part of these guys' little club. We're pretty far from home, though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations. Can these guys actually summon demons, though? I mean, our ne neighbor managed to get eventually, but... You decide you should you should get inside somehow and find out. Ah, what what do I care about those clowns are up to anyway? You decide that if a way forward doesn't strike you before you're done with your smoke, you'll just call it quits. And then just as you're putting your smoke out. There's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Uh. God's people are stupid. That looks like either a nail filer or a lightsaber. What? The little bar thing right there that I interact with. Oh. Uh. The top layer is full of cake. Lower has some paper cuts. Those are paper cut. Oh, I can kind of see it. That's okay. I guess. Oh yeah, like they're in that like stacked up together in one of those plastic tubes. Yeah. Someone has left a note. It reads, "To whoever ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate." Bam. Ah, uh, the office life. Same shit, different toilet. Rip. I want to get that on a poster. Same shit, different toilet. <laughs> and just be like a cat picture on there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like a still life. Yeah. It's just like just like a bowl of fruit. Yeah. <laughs> Same shit, different toilet. <laughs> On the cart sits plates full of cake and a coffee dispenser. What's with the cakes? It's a bit late for a work meeting. The elevator is coming up. Can I hide anywhere? Oh yes. The drap set set of drapery... Uh, the drapiest set of drapery you have ever oh. laid your eyes on. Oh my god, right. What? The Drabus. Wow. The word is Drabus. As in uninteresting. Ugh. This is going to take two trips. Grumbling as he goes, the cultist takes one of the carts down the elevator with him. Now you hide in the other cart. Remove paper cups from the cart. You could certainly squeeze yourself into the cart now, but you would also be seen instantly. You pull down one of the curtains. God, curtain. You wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. How is that going to help? 
I hmm. swear. <laughs> Rostus hastily shoves a piece of cake into his mouth. Oh, dark lord. That is good. He carts you into the elevator. How is this cart so much heavier than the other one? Well, fuck you. <laughs> Could it be? <laughs> I love this game's humor. <laughs> yeah. Could it be the weight of my sins? Betrayal. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know. <laughs> it's been me and the devil. Just act normal. Did, did I miss it? I can't see anything from here. Oh my gosh, it's old man Hackett. I guess, yeah, let's do what old man Hackett was. Well then, everyone, the ritual is all set up. He looks like he's such a kind old man, but he's a cultist leader. We're gonna summon Satan so that he'll do our weekly chores for us! <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> you're all excited about the free coffee. But first things first. Oh god, this fucking papers please ass music. All together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown. This is such fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord. Oh, no. The cultists keep calling for, the, for a lord unknown for a while, but it's becoming increasingly clear nothing is going to show up. Ah, look at this amateur hour. I actually summoned something on her first try. Though that's probably not a good thing, is it? I feel Lord Unknown is with us today, but only in spirit. Um, oh wait, uh, I, I brought the carts down. But someone stole one of the cakes. I don't know who. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! Could we have some now? <laughs> yes, please enjoy yourselves! Where, where are your robes? Er, uh, sorry, the thing is, I spilled some coffee on them. <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> now that you got your answers, you miss Ashley. Uh, 
so those other dipshits just don't notice the fact that you're that- Oh, 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 no, no, oh, no. Hey, didn't we already tell you to beat it? How are they done? How did the summoning go? <clears throat> no. Look, man. You're ruining the whole vibe with that get-up. Yeah, can you come in here dressed like this again? <laughs> yeah, can't. Oh, yeah, you can't come in here dressed like that again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. Uh, er... Good. These guys are a terrible cultist. <laughs> I mean, come to think of it, that original cultist managed to summon the demon, and, like, literally, he just summoned the demon specifically to, like, what was it? His, he offered, like, potential future payment rather than right immediately. So it seems like this entire cultist group is just entirely disconnected from how to actually deal with demons. Even though they have books on how to deal with demons. Right. These people are fucking idiots. Yeah. Just don't let this happen again. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I know what these people are. They're Gen Z. Our whole generation? Yes. That joke really fell flat. I always say because there's a lot of memes about Gen C being really fucking stupid. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> but I think it's... That's the thing. I would argue that humans in general are stupid. It's just that Gen Z and, like... Uh, younger millennials are uh, the only generation to be growing up with access to mass mobile or mass media to the extent of the internet like I think humans have always been this stupid it's just now the stupidity amplifies itself by finding itself more online and displaying itself online Oh my god. Alright. There's one road in Virginia that, that's notorious that no one wants to set foot on. It's called I-95. Okay. okay. Because the state gover government majority of its money goes to North Virginia because that's where the rich Virginians really are and they get and most politicians come from sadly. Uh -huh. So they Fun. obviously get more Thick road fixer uppers. I 95 is filled with potholes. In fact, there's like a, there's like a sinkhole that was on the road that it took them, I think, six years to fill up. Jesus. Yeah. Um, apparently, today, there have been two car fires on I 95 that happened out what? of nowhere. And they're both Chryslers. What the, what the? What? Okay, who's summoning Satan at that specific road to fuck up cars? I don't know. Although, like, real talk, sinkholes are fucking freaky. Like, There's actually... Like, think about that. You're, like, think about that. You're just going about your normal day, mm -hmm. and then, oh, fucking hunt. 100 foot drop opens up beneath your feet randomly. Yeah, um... There's actually was, like, something I watched as a YouTube short about sinkholes, where this guy was, yeah. uh... I thought it would be fun to make a video, uh, throwing stuff inside of a sinkhole. Okay. But, um, from what I've learned from it, it's actually... 
dangerous to do that because if you throw things into a sinkhole, it can actually speed up the process of the sinkhole growing bigger. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> hmm. Fun. And plus, the worst place the sinkhole now was at was in a swamp. Which means he can easily get stuck and sucked in. <laughs> how the... Come to think of it, how the fuck does sinkholes even work? I don't know. All that I know is that that's a terrifying fact. If you throw anything in a sinkhole, you just speed up the process. I imagine, like... I, I imagine it would depend on the sinkhole. Right. Let's see, the, the first definition that comes up is from Wikipedia, and it just says, A sinkhole is depression or hole in the ground caused by some form of collapse of the surface layer. That's really fucking broad. Maybe, reason why it speeds up the process, like, maybe if you throw, like, a really heavy object, it just, just it messes up the surface layer a bit, and that's why it grows bigger. Well, I mean, the surface layer would be referring to, like, uh, like where you are. Right. So, I doubt that would be it. I don't know. But, whatever. Right. Let's continue. Have a good night! You're really trash, Coltus. Okay, good. Ashley's still there. Are you done snooping on the cultist? Yeah, so there's apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats. Oh! I remember something extremely terrifying about electric cars. You do not oh. ever want to be in an electric car fire. Okay. Because I've actually learned this. Um, let's say the fire trucks... If headlights are shown on the fire, the fire cannot be seen. It's an actual fucking thing, and it's terrifying. Wait, what? Yeah, there is some fire where, like, cer if certain lumens of light hit it, it cannot be seen. It's an actual fucking thing. That sounds like BS. Hold I'm on. gonna look this up. Yeah, yeah, cause I I saw that, like as an on a list of car fire where where uh, fire trucks had to cut off the lights in order to see the fire. It's an actual fucking thing. flame or invisible flame is a flame having a typical temperature of about 400 degrees Celsius. It is usually produced in a chemical react in a chemical reaction of a certain fuel air mixture. In contrast to an ordinary flame, the reaction is not vigorous and releases little heat, light, or carbon dioxide. Wait, how does that make sense? I don't know, I'm not a science major. Cold flames are difficult to observe in our uncommon everyday life, but they are responsible for engine knock, the undesirable, erratic and noisy combustion of low octane fuels and internal combustion engines. Cold flames are accidentally discovered in 1910 by Sir Humphrey Davy, Davy who was interest who was inserting a hot platinum wire into a mixture of air and dithyl either mm -hmm. either vapor 
When the experiment on the slow combustion of ether is made in the dark, a pale, phosphorescent phosphorescent light is above the wire, which of course is not distinct when the wire ceases to be. This appearance is connected with the formation of the This is fun. I need to actually watch a video on this. This is weird. Yeah, I, I told you that there there are invisible fires that which are terrifying. <laughs> but they can't summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. Well, we don't actually know the uh like the time frame for the visions like how long they can be away from when you have them right i don't understand it was a vision for sure that was like you hear a car it th that's him that's the guy who slutter floats in my dream. Yikes. He really just went in our room just like that. You still doubted me? Where did he get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there. What stuff? We sold most of the junk you were hoarding. And I can't live without the trash and laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. <laughs> and her bra. You don't have to bring that up, man. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's my better bra, actually. This new one sucks. Still not interested. In fact, I'm somehow less inclined now. You know nothing of my trouble. <laughs> Wait a minute, he has a knife, we have a gun. What's the issue? <laughs> Does he still have the knife? Yeah, in the in the dream he showed he, he slit their throat, so Oh you mean the the guy who's killing them? Yeah. Oh yeah, the question is where's their gun? Does Ashley have it on her? <laughs> she just sleeps with the gun. <laughs> that doesn't sound safe. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy, though. This is no random burglary. He's specifically after us for whatever reason. Like, somehow he tracked us down. So even if we run away now, we'll be kept... Won't he keep coming after us? That's... Not round, but... And why is he still in the room? We're not even in there. Well, if I was him, I'd figure we're out getting food or something. So now he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Um... He's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep, just like my vision again. And you know this, how? I know because that's what I'd do. Duh. <laughs> Plus he's using a knife, so there. Listen, Andrew, just trust me. I've thought these things through. 
Huh. You question not why she's thought about such things. Now, enough Deli Deli. Let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. Let's see. Then we'll lure him out somewhere less conspicuous. Like the bathroom! And then what? You have to ask. Heh. <sighs> Oh yeah, it's probably... Yeah, the hard save moment. Oh uh, yeah, now it's no longer the same demo. Fancy. <sighs> Alright, leave this to me. This has got to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. Personally, I think I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber. But hey, opinions. Wait, what? Okay, there's actually one thing I want to say about this. Uh, yeah. this didn't kill anyone, luckily, somehow. Oh, but no. um, you know, gender reveal parties. Ah, uh, yes. In order to reveal I, I... they had twins, uh, they filled, uh, these glitter packs, uh, with, with C4, and set them off. Yeah, I think, I think you've mentioned this before. Yeah, a couple people got sent to the hospital. <sighs> no one died, though. Fun. Cops got covered in glitter. Okay. <laughs> Wait, how long does it take to get glitter off of you? I don't fucking know. Which, if I may add, was also your idea. I was 12. You should have stopped me. <laughs> so, should I talk you out of this one, or...? No, shut up and follow my lead. Back to Ashley. Right? I'm trying to right? see like how, oh. how long it usually would take it. Okay, I guess tell me that when I return. I gotta go get my pancakes. Oh, I just got the answer now. Oh, well, tell me when I return. Well, fuck you. I won't be long. No. <laughs> There. You are Ashley. No one has stepped forth to kill you yet. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be so awful. Yep. Oh gosh, Dolly Andro. I just realized. Fuck, fuck off, Avas. I just realized our impromptu night walk to the store left me parched. Is that so? Let's turn to the gas stop at once. And since we want to be all so quick about it, I take a short cub Cut through the park. <laughs> While we may 
frolic among the foliage, shielded from sight. <laughs> How's that sound, huh? Terrific, let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my thing first. I just realized that I don't trust staff here. Given that you're about to roam about with the hitman around, would you like to save the game? Uh, <laughs> save, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this game creator has a sense of humor. <laughs> so first check your bed for the damn gun. Yeah, washed laundry. No, I think I have it on me. Well, a uh, free, a different ending if you tried opening the, opening the closet. Well, congratulations, you found the hitman. And died, which is the best part. For the record, Andrew doesn't fare much better. When it comes to cutting people up, the hitman whoops his amateur ass dead. Though given his romantic streak, he probably didn't want to live without without you anyway. I bet you'd be happy about that if you weren't too fucking dead to feel anything. <laughs> the Hitman wins, end. You got an achievement. I guess the world is much better off without you. However, this is all so anticlimactic, you can do a free do-over. <laughs> Okay, that was amazing. Okay, I did already collect that, so that means I got everything. Holding the door open for me, are we? What a gentleman. Just sign in some fresh air in the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things already. Just care on my fucking pancake. I already did. Is is he coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. I pick a corner we can ambush him from. What corner? It's all bushes. What is this like the perfect area? A corner of the bushes. Advantage shopping cart. Very classy. Fancy. Here, this tray will hide us nicely. What are we gonna do if he just stays at the motel? Well, I guess we'll just leave then. We'll grow eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching over our shoulders at all times. Ugh, what a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good. Don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note... You know, it is true. If you kill one murderer, there'll be the same amount of murders in the world. That's why you need to kill two. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's an old joke. It's basically... No, it's you a... cut out. Oh, I said... You know, if you kill a murderer, there, there's st uh, kill one murderer, it'll still be the same amount of murderers in the world. That's why you need to kill two. Oh, okay. Yeah, you've told that joke before. <laughs> or in my case, kill 30. Okay, break. <laughs> 
Yeah, that sounds real. Yeah, yeah, she actually did sleep with the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Not at. 